Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down the largest cooldown that we've seen across the United States all fall long. This will bring the chance for heavy rainfall, severe weather in some areas and along with that much cooler weather. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the East Coast and if you haven't heard already we saw upwards of five to seven inches of rain in New York City yesterday and that equivalent to a lot of flash flooding across the area that trough that is moving very slowly off to the east is officially off the coast and it still brings some showers but it's overall lighter activity for those in southern New England that'll continue to move off to the east over the next few days and will really not be a concern to the United States past tomorrow overall in the Midwest we are also seeing some showers and maybe a couple storms up in parts of the Midwest as well again Again, nothing crazy here really not a whole lot of severe weather we did actually see some severe weather in part of the northern plains yesterday but overall it was pretty isolated and that's going to continue as well for the next day or two before that starts to move off to the east as well into parts of florida we still have a stationary frontal boundary down there and this has been bringing showers and storms throughout the last several days where lightless rain by the way flooding has actually been occurring in some areas but it's overall been pretty isolated but that stationary frontal boundary will continue to bring showers and some storms for the next few days and as well as some cooler weather because of all that cloud cover west coast of the united states we have a trough located over california this will be something to watch for in the great plains over the next several days as it moves off to the east it might pose a threat for some severe weather down the road and this will be the beginning of a transition to cooler weather as we head later into the fall and overall this is an omega block pattern as we have a high pressure system sitting in the southern plains and we'll talk about more on that here in just a second now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States throughout this upcoming week because there are going to be some big changes across the United States and we're first going to begin with the jet stream this gives us an idea of the weather pattern that's happening across the United States right now we have a high pressure system center over parts of the central plains it's a large heat dome essentially we saw a lot of this during the summer and this is what we call an omega block pattern it looks like the omega block shape or the Greek letter omega that's what we're looking at here we have a trough on the eastern side of that high pressure system and another trough on the western side the one in over near california is much stronger overall but the other one over in like the east coast for example it's been bringing a lot of rainfall so it's also been pretty dangerous over the last few days now as we go throughout the week we're going to start to see by monday into tuesday a trough ejection over the rocky mountains it's not going to be very quick by the way this is monday it's not going to move very far between now and monday it's going to be pretty slow moving overall that high pressure system will continue to dominate across much of the eastern tier of the united states by the time we get into to Tuesday into Wednesday though that's when that trough starts to eject over the Rocky Mountains this might be negatively tilted so we might have to watch for some severe weather across the Great Plains as we go into potentially late Tuesday maybe even into Wednesday perhaps even into Thursday so we might have a multi-day severe weather event to watch out for as we go into next week by Wednesday into Thursday that trough moves off to the east with that being said though we're gonna have a pretty large cool down across much of the country all the way from the southern plains like Texas into parts of the Midwest where the Great greatest cool down will be across parts of the midwest and the whole ohio valley once we get into friday into saturday things become more uncertain but it does seem as if that cool down will continue to usher in to areas like the northeast united states as we get closer to saturday of next weekend so this would be around the 7th of october so a lot of things to watch for for the next several days you might be wondering though what does this mean for the temperatures here are the temperature anomalies this gives us an idea of above and below average temperatures across the united states this area is below average that's all above average and this is actually record-breaking potential across that orange shaded region there across parts of Canada and as well as the upper Midwest. That's Monday, by the way. This heat will continue. It's really not going to go much of anywhere, at least through Tuesday. By the time we get to Wednesday, notice we start to see a little bit of a cool down across parts of the Great Plains. It's not massive, though, by any means by Wednesday. But by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, I do think this becomes much stronger. We get a bigger push of cooler weather, stronger northerly winds, more of a contour here, very close together contours which usually means the pressure gradient is very tight which usually leads to, leads excuse me to really high wind speeds and that would at least be able to help cooler weather come out of canada so some good news there and eventually as we get closer to saturday and to sunday notice how much of this dark blue that we start to see across parts of the central plains and the mississippi valley this would all be indicating well below average temperatures for many areas across the central plains and back through areas again in the mississippi valley eventually by sunday it looks like that cooler weather will start to move into areas like the northeast and 
as well as the southeast United States, which those areas haven't really felt a whole lot of fall weather yet. So there will be some coming here over the next several days. Here's an idea of the nationwide temperatures. So this is Tuesday afternoon. Again, notice the temperatures much warmer in the southern plains. That's where we're seeing low 90s. By the time we get to Wednesday, this is the afternoon, so high temperatures. 80s across much of the United States, even in the southern plains, will probably still be in the 70s and 80s. Eventually, as we get into Thursday, notice that cool down starts to become more reminiscent across parts of the northern plains. High temperatures, by the way, might be down into the upper 40s in some areas in parts of Minnesota going into Thursday. It just depends on how strong this cold blast is across those areas. Once we go into Friday and as well as into Saturday, notice the high temperatures of the Midwest. We could be down into the 50s. It might get pretty chilly for some areas. You might have to bust out those fleece jackets, maybe the hoodies over there in those areas. And by the way, you can order a max velocity hoodie. The link is in the description. Once we go into Saturday, temperatures will continue to stay pretty chilly. Look at this by Sunday. This could be our low temperatures as we go into Sunday morning. We could start to drop into the upper 30s in some areas. So some really nice weather overall if you're looking forward to cooler weather. But obviously, if you're not really looking forward to winter, I mean, we're starting to get a little bit down there, it looks like, by Sunday. Here are those low temperatures forecasted for Friday morning. Again, notice some areas dropping into the mid to upper 30s in parts of the northern plains. The Rocky Mountains will be dropping into the upper 20s in some areas. And then back over in the Midwest, we'll probably still be in the 50s. Even south Te or even into Texas, it'll be anywhere from around 45 to 75, north to south. So the Panhandle, obviously, the coolest area. And Friday afternoon high temperatures, this will probably be one of the coolest days of the week, at least forecastable. So anywhere past day seven, that's where things become a bit more uncertain. So at least over the next seven days, it does look like Friday will be our coolest day. Notice high temperatures only in the 50s across much of the northern plains and the Midwest. So again, nice weather is coming. If you're excited for fall, it looks really nice, at least as we get closer to the late week and as well as into the weekend. Here's a look at the future radar for the next several days. We're not really going to be watching a whole lot of storm activity until about Tuesday. That's when we might get that trough ejection, perhaps some severe weather across parts of the central and northern plains, damaging winds, large hail, maybe a couple tornadoes possible then. By Wednesday, we'll be watching for a lot of storm activity on the southern plains, heavy rainfall, very possible. By Thursday, more showers and storms, maybe in the Midwest, and by Friday into Saturday, that storm area will move into parts of the Northeast United States. And the Climate Prediction Center is right on board with the cooler weather. This represents above average and below average temperatures, the likelihood of that happening. Overall, it's fairly likely anywhere from anywhere from like the Midwest to the Southern Plains. It's pretty likely we'll see below average temperatures there. Above average is more likely than not on the West Coast of the United States. This is, by the way, from Friday, so next Friday, all the way through Tuesday of the following week. So from the 6th until the 10th of October, we'll likely be seeing below average temperatures again across much of the country. For precipitation, unfortunately, it's going to probably be below average during this time frame. The only exception would be probably at the very beginning of this time frame. So Friday, there might be some rain ongoing in Texas, perhaps even in back into like the Ohio Valley. But elsewhere, it looks very likely that we'll see below average precipitation across the northern plains, while we'll be seeing above average across the east coast and as well as parts of south Texas. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.